What's good, you YouTube? It's me, Rubber Squid, back in another Squid Eo. So, Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. This card has appeared out of seemingly nowhere ever since people realized that the meta game with Snake Eyes and Fire Kings running around, the mirror match takes forever. Like, these decks take a long time to combo. They're doing a billion searches from their deck. They're summoning out left and right from the hand, from the deck, from the graveyard, and it takes forever to do any combos, not to mention the actual back and forth and the grind games because of the lack of Omni Negates, which means that all these interactions have to actually somehow interact with the board, for example, Kirin or Garunix popping, and that always takes time. So people are siding in Ghost Sister not only for a couple of minutes or seconds left on the clock, but even as long as eight or nine, 10 minutes on the clock, because this forces your opponent to make a decision and decide whether or not they want to end on a powerful end board that allows them to gain a bunch of life points. It basically acts as max C when you go first and you set up a board and you have the spooky dog's wood in your hand. So I want to make a video talking to you guys about how to actually beat this card. Now, obviously, first and foremost, playing fast with your combo, yada yada, so you don't go to time or close to time helps. But this is more of the practical stuff that you can actually do. So let's say that we summon Snake Eye Ash and then we're going to add Poplar. We're nearing time and we are going to use the effect of the Poplar in our hand and our opponent hits us with the Spooky Dog Sister, which means that now we have to make a decision. Do we want to keep playing into this? Well, you can actually read the fine print with this card. It says, each time your opponent special summons an effect monster during the main or battle phase, you gain life points equal to that monster's attack. But if you did not gain life points by this effect, your life points are halved during the end phase, which means we can easily control that, especially when we're close to time. For example, if we have a card like Fire King High Avatar Kirin, we can immediately chain it to the effect of the Spooky Dog Sister and then destroy the monster that we were trying to special summon, which means now if we pass our turn, our opponent will effectively be having their life points because we chain Kirin on top of the dogwood before it resolved and poplar is resolving without effect so this is one thing that you can do but obviously if you're leaving your board very susceptible and weak then your opponent can still do a lot of damage or enough to otk you if there's enough time on the clock so you definitely have to kind of gauge how much you actually want to uh make use of kieran and how bad your board will actually matter into the game right you can definitely do this later down the line to pop something else uh that has a higher attack so that way your opponent doesn't gain as much attack you can kind of uh think around based on how much time is left whether or not to use a Kirin but this is just one way that you can actually do it by effectively stifling the special summon monster that you would have summoned. Another sort of niche interaction specifically for one for one but also other ways that you can actually summon out like potentially a level one monster and your opponent chains the spooky dog sister you can actually make use of that in a clever way by summoning out a monster that doesn't have any attack for example drone lockbird it has zero zero which means our opponent's not gaining any life points so yes the effect will still apply where during the end phase our opponent is forced to half their life points so this is something that you can definitely think about as well uh, if your opponent is using the spooky dog sister on a suboptimal play then you can definitely punish them for it by summoning out either drone lockbird or you know chaining kieran like we just just talked about this is just something that you can consider but of course bear in mind that if it is time in your main phase and you're going for this drone lock play it'll effectively end at a tie because your opponent will not be able to have their life points if you're not able to go to the end phase right so this is just like uh i think a strength of dogwood where the caveat is you have to actually go to the end phase in order for that negative effect to apply well if it's already time then it just becomes a tie instead of your opponent winning so effectively you cannot really win off of this play but it's still really really good to know especially if there are a couple of seconds left on the clock all right guys this is it i'm gonna show you the actual goo how you can otk through spooky dogwood with one snake eye ash you guys are not gonna believe this but yes this is possible it does not matter if your opponent gains a hundred thousand life points you will be able to otk them check this out normal summon snake eye ash well after we uh set up the spooky dog sister okay here we go normal summon effective poplar dogwood's gonna trigger in response to the poplar so we're just gonna go ahead and do our standard combo we're still gonna play we are not breaking a single sweat link up poplar our opponent's gonna gain more life points link variable send ash and the poplar bring up lambert dragon effect to scale back a free fodder for our original simple spoils gonna go for the fire king line here especially important that you do go for the fire king line and not the actual oak because this will matter a lot gonna set up the fire king island link off ponix and flamberg dragon to go into do little chimera this is very very important to link climb for this combo specifically remember we are under dogwood so our opponent is getting a lot of life points here now from here we're gonna bring back two level ones 
And fun fact, Dual Little Chimera boosts your guys by 500 attack, and Spooky Dogwood does gain attack equal to the attack and not original attack, so they will be gaining a little bit more. We're helping them out, okay? We're going to link off into the Nightmare Phoenix first, uh, just to get double fire monsters onto the board, so we can then go off using the Dual Little Chimera and the Nightmare Phoenix to go into Raging Phoenix. Why Raging Phoenix? Well, again, we are going for an OTK, so why not? We're going to go off and link into Zealantis here. Zealantis is especially crucial for this combo. Now we're going to use Island to blow up Poplar, bring back Garunix. Garunix effect chain link 1, uh, or rather the uh, dude in the graveyard chain link 1, the Salomon Great Raging Phoenix to bring back, and then Garunix chain link 2. Going to bring back Phoenix, dump the... Arvada, which allows us to resurrect the Doolittle Chimera, which is a free Link 2 instead of a Link 1 body, right? Now, from here is where things get spicy. Guys, take some notes with this. I can't believe I figured this out myself. I'm just really proud of myself, but... Um yeah, so now we are going to go off into Area the Water Charmer using the Raging Phoenix and the Zealantis. Can you see where this is going? I don't know. You're about to find out. Now, watch this. We're going to bring back that Water Goose Sister and Spooky Dogwood and go for a Synchro play using Sacred Fire King Garunix and the Dogwood to make our Psychic and Punisher. You guys don't remember what this card does. It says, at the start of the battle phase, trigger effect, you can make this card's attack gain attack equal to the difference in your life points and your opponents so you can now see how we're filling this gap yep but it's not over yet we have to link off the area and the do little to go off into princess so we have enough damage to deal the rest of the remaining damage differential uh if you think about this technically psychic and punisher cancels out the life point differential that they gained off of the spooky dogwood which means they go back to 8k and because this bad boy hits 3500 it means we just have to deal uh, effectively 4500 more or less so we bring back the flamberg that is more than enough yes this is more than for the 42,650. we're actually gaining the difference in the life points puts us at 37650 and after dealing the 27 plus the 3000 that leaves them with 36,950, which we have an extra 1k, and we are going to reduce our life points to zero. This is absolutely nuts. I knew this about YCS Vegas as well, but we just did not have the space to bring it into our extra deck. But if Spooky Dogwood actually becomes a meta revolving staple for the Snake Eyes Mirror matches, this is a way that you can actually deal with it. All you have to do is play two side deck uh, cards in your extra deck, unfortunately. So it is quite a hefty price to pay. But that being said, if you can incorporate area, this might come up as well against other matchups where you actually bring back water monsters and using it to link climb into princess. And then on top of all that, of course, the psychic and punisher just putting in absolute work. He also cannot be affected by activated effects while your life points are less than or equal to your opponents. So what do you guys think about this combo? This is a creative way that I thought you can actually end the game while you're under dogwood. I cannot think of any other way to possibly end the game and actually win when your opponent dogwoods you. Uh, besides pass the turn so guys what do you think about this i'm really really stoked to share this with you guys i hope you guys can actually innovate and hopefully use this in a real duel because this would be so epic to see on stream but yeah without further ado i hope you guys like uh definitely see you guys in the next video let me know what you think about this combo below ciao